Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy, and if you're clicking on this video, you're interested in me revealing the fifth book in my Peace and Purpose series. Let's get started. So as you've seen, I've already put out four books. The series is consistently growing, and I am glad that I remained consistent in trusting the process, releasing to receive, and chasing purpose. The foundational book, my first book, A Gift of Peace and Purpose, A Survivor's Journey, was going to be the only book. And as I reflected and wrote more in that book, I realized that I needed to expand on the chapters that I wrote within that book. This human experience that we're having is so um, deep and rich and it takes a lot of time and effort and energy to really break down the human experience in a way that is comprehensible or in a way that the mind can fathom. With that being said, this book is about what happens when you reach the end of your journey of peace and purpose. And maybe I should rephrase it, maybe not the end, but a point in the journey where you've consistently done the work that's necessary to find inner peace and align your thoughts, words, and deeds with your actions, um, a harvest of a thousand generations. So with that being said, I got my books to the side. We're going to cut it open and uh, show you what it looks like. So if you've watched me unveil um, books before you know that I've gone through this process multiple times um, I've used book baby every time that I've published a book and intend to do so for the remaining two editions for the peace and purpose series the thing that I love about um, working with one publisher is that the process becomes easy once you've done it a few times and you're used to a specific product or the quality of the product I should say I'm gonna put this down you may hear my little friend in the background or my little brother I should say he might make an appearance we'll see how that goes <laughs> All right, they taped that box really, really good. So let's turn it around so I can keep my address safe. So um, again, like the other videos, um, you go through a series of uh, approvals in the form of proofs to approve and or reject the final copy of what your book would look like. So I've seen it on the computer, but again, this is the first time that I've seen the physical book itself. So with that being said, <laughs> Mason is looking like, what in the world are you doing? They're really packed this very, very well. There we go. really really good in person hidden meadows the fulfilled promise so the book as I said is all about understanding what happens when you are consistent 
when you demonstrate hard work and leverage the power of manifestation to get the desired outcome with the focus of chasing your purpose, you get a harvest that will not only take care of you, but take care of the generations behind you. So with this book, what I did was I went back through the other books that I'd written and I'd broken it down. Um, within those books, I have uh, what I call books and then chapters. So the books are really constructs and the chapters are um, components of those constructs. So for example, one of the books or constructs is the book of life. And within that book of life, I break down chapters or components of the book of life. And then I give a reflection on what it is. And for those that have read my previous books, you'll notice that in this book, it's in a different order. And that's because I wanted to ensure that there was a timeline that made sense from beginning to end, from birth to death. So that way, an individual who's reading this book can understand the bigger picture and where they might fall on their journey of peace and purpose. So I am very glad that everything turned out the way that it was supposed to. Now the trick is trying to get all of these together at the same time, which I often struggle with that, but I practiced before I got started. So here we have all five books together. <laughs> this is the part where I struggle. So we'll do three in this hand and then two in this hand. So we have a gift of peace and purpose, a survivor's journey. Then we have love and meditation, the keys to manifestation. And then we have lenses, seeing the unseen spaces between us. <laughs> well to the soul, pouring from a full vessel. And of course, Hidden Meadows, The Fulfilled Promise. Hopefully by now you can see the story that's being told. And uh, I hope that you consider uh, going along on the journey with me. If you have gone through the book baby process, comment what your experience has been. Um, and if you're interested in hearing more about my experience with book baby, um, comment below or send me a message. I have other videos that talk about my experience with Book Baby, but all have been positive. So, uh, what do I look forward to happening um, as this book is released? Five is a significant number. It's been consistent throughout this uh, journey of self, or more recently, journey of self that I've been on. So, it's all about change for me and given that it's july 13th and there's a full moon that's happening i want to say a buck moon um or super moon that is uh not a coincidence everything happens uh the way that it's intended to happen even when we feel our decisions are not the best decisions or the outcomes are not the best the books literally got delivered today so um no coincidence but what do i look forward to i look forward to I'm creating more flow or alignment and flow in my life. And what that means is in every area of my life, I am aligned with my purpose of helping people operate at their highest potential through self-awareness. That means my job that I have, which is a means to providing um, for me until I can become a full-time author, coach, and speaker is about honoring my purpose, but through the lens of corporate America. In my downtime, everything that I do is in alignment with my purpose. And of course, my thoughts, words, and deeds are all about honoring my purpose. When I meet strangers, when I meet up with friends and family, 
everything is about honoring my purpose or at least looking through the lens that will help me honor my purpose because circumstances and people often bring about lessons or confirmation or validation of the paths that we're on. Um, I hope that what you take away from this video is the importance of consistency, especially when you have identified your purpose in life, whatever it may be, in being of service to people, using different methods or mediums to honor your purpose, but being consistent in doing whatever it takes to make your purpose a reality. Um, I look forward to having um, success within uh, my professional life, my personal life, um, of course, with the foundation of being happy with myself um, and loving who I am and to also share this experience with the significant other that is a right fit for me and vice versa and sharing this experience of a life of abundance with my family and friends um, and those who also look to share with positive intention. Have a great day.